from my soccer universe and let me show you another jersey from my Serie A collection. One that I actually got uh, was one of the first jerseys I got this year already late last year and I'm talking of course officially I think it's the Napoli third a uh, fourth jersey from last season but it ended up being so frequently worn that it was it almost became a default away jersey. It was the Maradona tribute and the idea behind this jersey was yeah um, we want to pay respects to Diego Maradona and Napoli is going to wear more or less an Argentina jersey. That is what they actually achieved with this one. Maybe the striping is a little bit off for Argentina but I think it's also distinct Napoli. I instantly loved this jersey upon seeing it. Uh, I think it was first worn uh, against Roma and eerily enough it was worn for the first time on the weekend after Diego died. So in that sense also a uh, rather fitting uh, to uh, to have it released there that we although no one really planned for that. Actually the plan was that uh, Diego is coming and uh, seeing this uh, jersey. And so it became a tribute jersey and of course I was so I mean, Maradona's death really shook me in a way. And I thought this is such a fitting tribute. I really want to have this jersey. And as a Napoli alternate, it's about as perfect as it can be because you have the club's colors in there, but it's kind of bright. And then, of course, the Cocarda from the cup win added a little bit to the whole thing and, you know, having the cup of it. I went to the web page and of course I think it was 110. It was now it, it, it sold for 90, but the shipping was 110. And I was going back, back and forth, and then uh, but just a little bit um, waiting too much. Suddenly it was sold out. Then it said, okay, this comes back in stock. And I think that was for two or three days. I was going back and forth, what show should I order? And I had it in triple XL, I wanted to order it in double XL, and suddenly they had only uh, XL available or a triple XL, um, but you couldn't get the print on the back. And I really want to get an Insigne on the back. So this is kind of uh, blank here. And then I said, okay, I'm gonna order it and it will cost 110. And this is probably makes this the most expensive shirt that I ever bought. Although the current shirt that I've got the same year fell into a similar category. It was just a little bit cheaper. And I was very happy when I got, I got it. as I said, it's a little bit of download that at that moment when I ordered it, I couldn't get Insignia printed on there for whatever reason. They messed it up in, in, in the store, but I was very happy when it finally arrived. I said, okay, yeah, maybe with the blank back, uh, I might actually wear it. I mean, so far I have only worn it in VA video, so you still have the original text skin fit on there. Um, do I regret of not getting the double, uh, the triple XL a teeny bit because the fit of this one, while really nice and comfortable when you, when you wear it, is a tad tight. I gotta admit to that. Um, a really nice feature of the shirt. Yes, it has a double sponsor, but a really nice feature. And I'm not sure if this will be able to pick up on the camera. If you look at the sponsor, so let's move this here you can maybe make out some teeny tiny dots within the sponsor itself, which kind of aids with the vent ventilation, which I think is a really, really nice feature. Uh, the cocarda is a very nice, just uh, glued on material. All these are plastic transfer, the couple logos, uh, as is the MSC where we have the same thing with there's a slight dot pattern to help with the ventilation. I think the numbers are the same, even the SSC here, uh, SSCN, here has that feature and of course the Kimbo sponsor on the back as well. As I said, um, my biggest regret is that I couldn't get a, num a name set on the back because it does look a little bit weird. Um, it is the full combat range, it is quite stretchy, uh, which I do like. Um, the other regret is, is this was a jersey that, okay, I ordered through the Nap Nap Napoli store, which uh, in, a, in, in, in an invasive way to uh, kind of a little bit support them or, or whatever. However, what really hurt me when I, I think, towards the end of last season and I suddenly saw this for 64 euros popping up. That actually taught... So, I don't see this, you know, this is not the first thing that pops into mind when I see this jersey. This is still one of my favorite uh, jerseys. Uh, by, by, by the way, this here, I think all the um, 
uh, Kappa jerseys have this for the combat, uh, but it's it, it's a really nice three-dimensional uh, tag in a way. But it taught me the lesson, you know. Okay, if you're gonna miss out, you, you know, it was one I wanted to have this this one, so I did everything possible to get it. On the other side, this was clearly fear of missing out. And sometimes a great jersey just falls your way. This was not necessarily a limited run. I know if I keep this jersey in good con 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 condition in a few years, this might get more special. It is not a limited run like the current Napoli uh, Maradona tree tree tri tri kits, which sold for an insane price. Na Napoli is really going crazy now that they are with Emporio Armani, which I think is still Kappa. It's just that they, they, they put another brand on there. So they're going really crazy uh, with, 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 with that. I actually think since this was really worn on the first league match after he died, that this one has a little bit of higher value. And I think it's a more fitting tribute than putting his likeness on the bottom, but that's only how I feel. So yeah, let me know what you think about this jersey. Uh, did you pick up one? Uh, I guess you have either Maradona or a player back there. That, that would in interest me too. Uh, in any sense, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day.